even if you love counting tiny parts, speed and accuracy is still a problem. So I built this parts counter for $34. I found the perfect little monster in my stash. It's the LilyGo T-Camera Plus. It's an ESP32 microcontroller with a camera and a screen all in one device. I can have the camera grab the image, the ESP32 can do the math, and the screen will show the count. No laptop, no extra equipment needed. I want to make something completely self-contained, and it just works every time. For the software, we're using a classic technique called blob counting. It's a lightweight computer vision trick for counting similar objects. Here's how it works. First, the image is converted to binary, pure black and white. Objects become white, background becomes black. Then the algorithm scans line by line looking for white pixels. When it finds one, it flood fills all the connected pixels, creating a blob. Finally, each blob is measured by its number of pixels. If it's bigger than the minimum setting, but smaller than the maximum setting, it counts as an object. I can already hear some of you, why not use machine learning? Well, machine learning takes a lot of training data, it takes a lot of processing power, and if I want to count other parts, I'm going to have to retrain it all over again. Good lighting solves this problem tonight. My first try was a single light. Unfortunately, it made really harsh shadows that distorted the silhouettes. Then I tried a ring light. It created too many highlights breaking up the objects, plus the shadows it would put between touching parts would cause them to merge. Backlighting was definitely the winner. It really kept the objects separated and it gave me a clean silhouette. So I designed and 3D printed a backlit counting tray. This gave me really nice, crisp silhouettes. I also made a camera mount so the framing stays consistent. And I added a region of interest so the software only processes what's inside the red box. All this happens in under a thousand lines of code. I'm actually shocked at how well it works. Even when the parts are touching or slightly overlapped, enough light still gets through to keep them separate. The button cycles between camera feed, the blob mask, and the count screen. If something's wrong, I can see why instantly. Now for the real world test. Counting the old fashioned way? Just over a minute. My fancy blob counter? A minute and seven seconds. All this to learn that my counting skills are better than my engineering skills. For now. Regardless of the result, I really enjoy making projects like this. I'll make the 3D model and the code available on the HackBake Mod website for anyone that wants to make it better.